At Ron Holland House Moving Incorporated, our crew has over 80 years of combined moving experience. We have the expertise and equipment to provide professional and quality work on every job. Our moving foreman, Art Schultz, evaluates the structures to be moved in order to determine what tools and materials will be needed for the job. Before the crew can head out to the job site, the trucks are loaded with the needed amount of cribbing, beams, and shim material required for lifting the house off of its foundation. Oli Moss assists Art in loading the truck. Art chooses the main beams for the structure based on the length and weight of the house. He uses a forklift to load the beams onto the trailer in position to be tied down. All dollies, cribbing, and shims are housed inside to ensure quality. Because each job is different, Ron Holland House Moving Incorporated has a wide variety of materials to choose from. Here, shim planks of various lengths and widths are chosen to take to the job site. Jeff Finer assists Art in loading the shims onto the truck. Another crew member, Monty Top, joins Art in the two-ton tool truck. This truck contains all necessary hand tools, crib jacks, pumps, levels, and shims commonly used on most jobs. Our custom modified 6x6 Mack truck pulls the beams and cribbing as they head out to the job site. The house is measured in order to evenly place the beams. Basement windows and concrete must be knocked out in order to fit the main beams under the house. The truck which hauled the trailer full of beams and cribbing is also used as a boom truck and a moving truck. Here the boom is unfolded and extended to move the cribbing and beams from the trailer over to the work site. Two bundles of 5 inch by 6 inch by 51 inch oak beams are used as cribbing to build supports for the main beams. Positioning of the cribs must be accurate. Here the floor is swept clean and marked. Cribbing is handed through the opening in the foundation and stacked to create a secure base for the beams and jacks. A variety of shims are used to make sure the cribbing is set straight and level. A total of four cribs will be built to provide even support of the house. Metal tubes support the jack bases that hold the jacks in place. The main beams consist of two steel H beams which will span the length of the house. Beams are placed under the house by the boom truck and pushed in over rollers set on top of the cribs. These two main beams, along with the floor joists, will support the house as it is raised and moved. If the house were heavier, or more than one story, additional beams placed at right angles to the main beams would be used to pick up the perimeter of the house. Shim planks are placed on top of the beams 
so the beams are tight up against the floor joists. The shims also space the beams correctly to match the thickness of the outside plate in order to evenly distribute the load and to prevent damaging the siding of the house. Here, the jacks are pressing the beams up tight against the house before the house will be lifted off of its original foundation. To maintain safety, utilities must be disconnected by the homeowner prior to working on the house. The owner should cut all pipes and disconnect any electrical cords or heat ducts. Here we are using a cast iron pipe cutter to disconnect the sewer pipe. We have liftoff. The house does not take off as fast as a rocket, but it is still impressive in its own right. If the house were heavier, multiple jacks in conjunction with a unified hydraulic machine may be required to raise the house. Our unified machine is capable of controlling 19 jacks at one time and lifting up to 400 tons. As the house is raised off of its foundation, the bolts connecting the house to the concrete can be seen. The homeowner must remove all of the nuts from the bolts in order to allow the house to freely disengage from the foundation. In one stroke, the jacks can raise the house 17 inches. After the jacks have reached the desired stroke position, cribbing is built up to block off the main beams in order to maintain a safe and stable base for the house. The next day, the dollies are brought in to put under the house. Roll beams are used 90 degrees to the main beams to roll the house off of the foundation. The gray beam is a hydraulic sliding bolster used to attach the house to the moving truck. Jacks are placed in the cribbing once again to raise the house in order to make room for the roll beams under the main beams. The crib jacks are adjustable in one and a half inch increments, which helps position them in the cribbing. Hoses are connected to the hydraulic pump and all four jacks. The house is raised to make room for the roll beams. The boom truck brings in the roll beams, moving slowly and carefully past the jacks. Cribbing is built to support the heavy H-beam. Rollers are placed on the roll beam and sent back to sit under the main beam. Each roller is inspected for defects before being sent under the house. Dollies are brought in to support the back of the house. The house will rest on a three-point system in order to prevent flexing or twisting of the structure. The dollies will each be a point in the back and the truck will be the third point in the front. The second roll beam is moved into place and measurements are made to make sure the roll beams are parallel.